Howdy, partner! Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. I'm Cameron. This week, we're playing some Canadian Highlander for a change. Highlander is sort of like CDH, but a little bit different. It's a 100-card singleton format, but it's played with two people rather than four, and there's no commanders. Also, there's 20 life instead of 40 life, so combat damage is a real thing. Instead of having a ban list, the system has a point system. So if you basically take the vintage banned and restricted list, they've given points to each one of those cards. So for me, I'm playing a bug mid-range list that runs the three Moxin in the color combination. Each one of them are worth three points. And I'm also playing True Name Nemesis to get me a total of 10 points. I'm playing a Teamer Tempo deck. So I'm playing Ancestral Recall, which is a seven point card, as well as True Name Nemesis, Dig Through Time, and Treasure Cruise as one point cards. If you want to check out a quick deck tech on this deck, uh, I did one on our Instagram. You can go check that out right now. So how does this work? Are we supposed to like shake hands and say like <laughs> good game? Yeah, good a, a game. high five to start things off. This is a five that I will keep. Play a waterlogged grove, not even drawing from my. F I'm already have. I have four cards in my hand oh. already. Go ahead. And I'll draw from my turn. Play scalding tarn and fetch down to nineteen. Nineteen. Yes. Immediately, you're already at nineteen life. Immediately. Oh my god, that's a bummer. Noble hierarch. And you got pass. it. Untap. Draw a card. That's a taiga, and I will take one damage as well for a ren and six. Ooh. She's the wheeze. Wow. Let's minus Ren and Six. All right. Deal one damage right there. Put it at two loyalty. Damage and I will dealt. pass my turn. Hinterland Harbor. Play a another elf and see oh, if boy. you if see if you wanna waste all your time pinging it down. <laughs> and then yeah. play one that you can't ping. All right, untap, draw a card. Turns. No one has cast ad nauseum yet. I don't know what to do. <laughs> minus Ren, deal one more damage to that. Finthorn Elves. All right, Finthorn Elves is down. Uh, let's play a Wasteland for turn. This is Ooh. gonna be so much fun. Unfortunately, Jeez. I'm not sure if this guy's gonna stay alive, but let's Wasteland your Tropical Trop Island is there. Trop is down, Trop is down. And then I will pass my turn. Yeah, so this is major bummers here. We're gonna play a flooded grove, attack run in six for one. Pass. I think this was a mistake. I think I should have played the wasteland first, wastelanded your land, and then plused on run in six so that I wasn't leaving Ren up to be able to be killed by Deathrite Shaman right away. I think that's right because this was my plan. Set up a scenario where now he has to two for one me so that I can take out Ren and Six. <laughs> Very clever play, Cameron. This is next level shit. Untap, draw a card, fire, eyelet. I really wish I would have had this earlier, but I'm gonna lightning bolt that Deathrite Shaman. Deathrite Shaman down. Go ahead. Uh, my turn, forest pass. Untap, draw a card, windswept teeth. Practice fire, eyelet to you, draw a card. Okay. I'll fetch with the windswept teeth. Go to 18, tropical island. I'm gonna cast a hooting mandrills, delving five cards away. 4-4 four, four, Trample, basically unstoppable. Yeah. In response, I am going to cast Condescend, X equals 2. Yeah, you got it, it's counter. All right, so I get a Scry 2 what here. What a tempo play. I'll keep them both. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Cast a Tireless Tracker. You got it. Play a land for turn, get a clue. Yep. Sorry. Sit down in our think and chair and think. 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 Pass think. the turn. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Untap. Draw a card. Right, you don't have to include that part of the video. Oh, I'm including the whole thing. I noticed thing. that every time I say you don't have to include this in the video, it goes in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a thing in the ice. Thing in the ice, yes. How about four counters on it? Okay. Go ahead. All right. You go to my turn. I will draw Waterlog Grove as my land for turn. Cast Thoughtseize. <sighs> you got it. Spell Snare is just never good. Spell you haven't cast a two mana spell this good. entire game. I'm going to take Mana Leak. It's gone. I'm down to 17. Go to combat attack. I will not block. I'll take three. I'm going to sacrifice the clue. Okay, you got it. Sack the clue. That gets me a plus one, plus one counter. I get a draw. Damage? Damage. I will go to 14. Pass the turn. Already basically dead. Untap. Draw a card. Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, I think I, I forgot a Tyler Tracker trigger when Mortal of Rope. Marsh Flats. We get a clue. Crack. Marsh Flats down to 16 underground c gets a second clue learning how to count on nice one plus one win. would be two two then right two yeah. Okay. yes yeah. yes got it got it got it attack you no effects take four take no, four over take there four. buddy go to 10 cast a don't 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 play son of a <laughs> Bitch! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, you have a scare gun. Okay. Pass the turn. And Seb, I'm gonna flash in a hole breacher. That's pretty good. Okay. Banded, banded commander, but we can at least play it here. I'll go to nine to do that. I don't even <laughs> think it's gonna be good because there's no way that I can beat a scarab god. Untap draw card. That that's helpful. 
Cast Ancestral Recall. Target that myself. is helpful. That is definitely that helpful. That could get me somewhere. Uh, go for it. Yeah, I have All nothing right. to say about that. Oh, let's remove a counter off of the thing in the ice, also too. Also good. This yeah. is how we get there. Let me get three spells. Three spells. One, two, three. Land for turn is an island. Oh, man, this whole bridge is probably just going to be a chump blocker. <laughs> <laughs> Pass turn. I'll draw for turn. You have a ton of cards in your hand now. Only three. That still feels like a ton. It was more than before. Yeah, let's go to combat and attack with my two creatures. Yeah, I'm going to put the whole breacher in front of that tireless tracker. Great, okay. Sacrifice a clue, draw a card, and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. You got it. Yep, Okay, so whole three, breacher dies. Three damage on it, and yep. I take five. Play breeding pool untap. In response to the la that trigger, can I respond? You, the land enters, but it creates the a trigger here. The trigger's on the stack, yes. Yeah, the trigger's gonna, on the I'll stack. I'll respond there with a bone crusher giant, uh, the, but the, the spell part. Stomp. For a total yes. of five, to five total damage on that You're right. So there. even if I do go to bump it, it's still going to die. I believe so. Um, if I've done the lose a counter right. on your thing. Thank you very much. Thing um, in the and then, yeah, gone. Tireless Tracker will die. And tireless Tracker will on die. An adventure over but here. But this means that I will pay another life here for Waterlog Grove. And I will cast a Custody Lynch. That is not a two mana spell. That is not. How am I supposed to beat five mana creatures? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, when it, uh, does it resolve? Absolutely. When it enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. And whenever I become the monarch, I uh, use target player sacrifices a creature. So, I'm going to target that's you, me. Dylan. That's a, that's a real a son of a bitch. That's a real son of a bitch. Let me see if I can. I think there's a monarch token in here if you okay. want to find something that's Let's a monarch. See. Yeah. Pass a turn, but on my end step, I get a draw because I'm the monarch. Unbelievable. Untap. Draw a card. Oh, look at this. There's clues here. So look, I'll swap this out. Perfect. We have a clue. Pay actual mana for a Gataxian probe. We have Brainstorm and Lily of the Veil. Fuck. Yeah, they're really good cards. I'm in dead. My hands. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just draw this card. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's actually. Maybe that's helpful? Something. Okay. Um, No, it's not. I don't have an. No, the Liliana just kills me. I have a Merc Tide region that I could cast, but I'm uh, at five. And that would just make you sacrifice it. Yeah, right you just away. make it, me sacrifice it, yeah. and then you'd, you'd kill me because this is more than five. Yeah, that's way and more I don't, than five. I, I can't cast my second creature that I drew. You got me. I'm dead. Great. So I was completely unable to keep Cameron off of any mana or any threats. The name of this game with the bug mid range deck here is just get to a point where you can slam one of the five drops down, and then the game's in your hands. You just ride that five drop out to victory. So let's see if we can give maybe this format one more shot, see if I can get in. Yeah, uh, in a victory before Cameron plays a five mana creature. I will play a Windswept Teeth. It's for life for turn. And I will crack. Yep. And I will go get a Taiga. Cast Faithless Looting. Draw one. Draw two. This Mystic Sanctuary is just not going to happen this game. And Brainstorm. That okay. can go away. Pass turn. I'll draw for my turn. Uh, Bloodstain Mire. We're going to crack by you. Flip one off and pass. Draw a card. Botanical Sanctum. And I will pass my turn. Draw for turn. Play Drown Catacomb as land. Cast Arbor Elf. Pass. You got it. Pass. I will flash in a Fairy Vandal at the end of your turn. I will condescend it. X equals one. Okay. Scry two. Untap. Draw card. Play an Ancestral Recall right the fuck down. Ooh, geez. Okay. Glad that one didn't get countered. One, two, three. Many cards. Hinterland Harbor. Okay. And pass a turn. All right. Mine. Draw. Play Woodland Cemetery. Cast Thrun the Last Troll. That can't be countered. Can't be countered. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll hit you for one. Yep, past turn. 18. And step out, thought scour myself. Wastelands, Dreadhorde Arcanist, and draw a card. Dreadhorde Arcanist and Ancestral Recall synergy. Really it's good. So I wish good. that was in my hand. Draw a card. Yeah, really. Play a Volcanic Island, and geez, that Thrun that is... That Thrun, man. That Thrun is a problem. <laughs> um, a sprite Dragon. Okay. Door at the perfect pet. Go ahead. I don't know why I didn't attack, but the Sprite Dragon has haste, right? I don't know why I'm not attacking with the thing. My turn. All right, let's play an island. Let's go to combat. Hit you for four. No blocks. 14. Cast him to Tarok, targeting you. Let me see if we can memory lapse that. All right, that gets last. Trigger Sprite Dragon. Put a counter yep. on it. Untap a forest and cast Liliana the last help. You got it. Plus up and go to four to shrink it. You got a creature. Pass turn. Untap. Draw a card. A fork bolt. Ooh, trying to target your mana dorks really good. Get a counter yeah, on Dorat. Play a Prismatic Vista. I'll get the Liliana for one damage. Lee's back at three. Go ahead. All right, go to turn. Draw. Combat. Hit you for four. Flash in a Snapcaster Mage. Okay. ETB. Yep. Target Ancestral Recall. Yep. Block the front. Great. It's dead. Cast him to Torok, targeting you. Force Spike. Trigger. I'll pay for it. He resolves. Okay. I discard this mystery force. Great. I'll put Lily down to one to mill two, and I can put a creature from my graveyard into my hand. Okay. 
I'll cast Arbor Elf. You pass. I will fetch, go to 13 at the end, get a basic island, and I will use the flashback that is on Ancestral Recall from the Snapcaster Mage oh to God. cast Ancestral Recall. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. Yeah, uh, right? Trigger Sprite Dragon. <laughs> yeah. Get another counter there and draw three. Go to my turn. Untap. Draw a card. You have one in your hand? Correct. Cast an Is It Charm. Okay. Draw two, ditch two. Yep. Get a counter. One, two. Get it Just there. this. Yeah. Attack you. Take it. Team or Battle Rager, trigger, give it a double strike and trample, yep. and cast Berserk, double its power. Nice. 18 double strike. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out casting Ancestral Recall two times in a game will lead you to a victory. Who would have possibly thought that? This is a match, officially. Let's go to game three. I think this one has some potential. We'll give it a shot. All right, ready? I'm ready. All right, so we are going to start off with Inquisition of Kozilek. Fuck. <sighs> Preordained, Thought Scour... Brineborn, Cutthroat, mm -hmm. Dreadhorde, Arcanist, Berserk, Scavenging Ooze, and oh one single god. island. Arcanist. It's Arcanist, right? Oh my god. Okay. Um, take Preordain? Fuck you. Past turn. I forgot how powerful hand disruption is. I was trying to think, do I want to take this for the early game and just hope that you don't really draw into lands? Or do you take the Dreadhorde, Arcanist, so that that way, you know, you don't really have such a daunting threat out there with ancestral recall i think if i had two lands it might have been better to take the dread horn but since i was relying on that one the preordain i think was just so much more important that was the deciding factor on tap draw a card play an island go draw i was really banking on that preordain a <laughs> forest into grim flare pass i will thought scare myself at the end jace the mind sculptor thank god and a hinterland harbor fuck and draw a card yes Untap. Draw for turn. We got there, baby. Plenty of opportunities. We got yeah, there. Boom. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. All right, just pass it. Okay. Tap land and swing it with Grim Flayer. I have nothing to say about it. All right. So when Grim Flayer deals combat damage, look at the top three cards. I'm going to eat them I'm all with Scout Definitely Babies. leaving that on top in this land. You got it. Go ahead. And step, tap this for a colorless and flash in a Brineborn Cutthroat. Yep. Untap. I'll get you for two. I will take two. And I'll take a damage 17 and cast Tarmogoyf. Go ahead. Four or five. That's my jive. Get probe. I want to see the other stuff you're working with. Magmatic sinkhole and renin six. Magmatic sinkhole and renin six. Dealing with the lack of red situation. Yeah, I can tell. Play a land for turn. Hit you with an abrupt decay. Can't stop that one. Get that out of there. I'm gonna hit you for two. I won't say anything about it. Top three. Fifteen. These two in the bin. That guy on the top. Tastic. Oh my god. Past. Ah, this is five damage, right? Ha! Ah! Sulfur falls. Oh yeah, it still does it. Yeah. It's a red source. Let's take a damage. Go to fourteen. I'm gonna cast a scavenging use. Cool. I'm gonna magnetic sinkhole right now. Exile right. these five cards. Dead. Task. Five damage to a tasker and attack you for two. I'll take two. Go ahead. I, I will draw. Attack you for two. I will still not block. We have more. Then a land, so now we're delirious. Leave those. Cast. Scavenge news pass. Oh boy. We're having it's gonna be one of these games. Yes, it is. Untap. Draw a card. I'll attack. Okay. I'll put this in front of you. No effects. Great. Trades and take two? Yep. Trades and take two. That's how we're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Play a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Go ahead. Hit you for four. All right. So you take four. I kind of want all these. Cast him to Torok. Fuck. Yes. Him to Torok resolves. I'm going to pick this one. It was at Remand. And run and six are gone. Pass the turn. Okay. I think what we do is take a damage for an Oko. Okay. Try to turn that into a beast. An elk. And then we just got to leave up some blockers here. Go. Draw. Play Woodland Cemetery, animate Treetop Village, and swing everything at Oko. Block your Treetop Village. I'm gonna kill Arcanist. Oko takes three. Play a Jace Fern's Prodigy and pass. Untap Chakra. I'll turn that into an Elk also. Elk, go ahead. Combat nice. everything at Oko. Yep, Oko dies. Kitchen Finks, up to 14. Memory lapse it. Ooh, okay. Back on top. Yep, counter. counter. And I will pass. Chakra. Botanical Sanctum tapped. Okay. I think I should have attacked last turn. I'll get you for three. I'll take three Go down ahead. to nine. Go ahead. Hit ya. Go to one. And recast Kitchen Fangs back up to 11. You got it. Pass turn. Jocker. That doesn't do it. Yep, you got it. Good game. I have a negate, oh, yeah, negate I'm just dead. I had Gitrog. Oh, yeah, super dead. Oh, I definitely messed up somewhere along the line in that game. Too much value, too much grind. Couldn't take it, couldn't deal with it. There's so much value in here. I said for years that Grim Flayer was a bad card. I mean, it kind of is a bad card, but when you can't play four Dark Confidant and you're playing a 100-card Singleton, it's a much better option. All right, I guess that's fair. This format was fun. It's nice to take a break from four-player, from all the combo every once in a while, where combat damage is an actual real part of the game again. It feels like a whole different aspect of the game has been unlocked, but 
for me, CDH is still where I think I'll be spending most of my time. I completely agree. This was definitely a fun experiment, something that I like dipping my toes into. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $50 patrons, Casper Lindahl, Tommy the Oddball, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Angelo Corsi, Latchland Fear, Jimmy Midnight, Baby Jeebus, and Mario Hernandez. Thanks, y'all. Check out our bonfire store for our awesome t-shirt and sweatshirt designs. If you want to check out any of the cards you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Our Ultra Sleeves affiliate link gets you 5% off of your order. And if you want to check out any of our play mats or deck boxes, you can do that at our website, playtowinmtg.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time.